Good job, Riley. Mix one part drill sergeant. Good. And equal part cheerleader. Hold them back, drive those knees. Good job. And you get Ashley Selman. Her fitness clients <laughs> describe her as energetic, fun, funny. You might say the 43 year old owner of Evolution Trainers is a natural born athlete. I think the first picture I saw myself at about two years old, I was dribbling a basketball, and it's just been part of my DNA. That DNA sparked a love for sports that continued to blossom. When I was 13 years old, I was skiing and had an accident, fell, and, and fractured my hip. That didn't stop Ashley. She continued competing and excelling. I actually was a two-time national champion in the Javelin, um, which was an awesome time in my life. I had a lot of experiences. She took that knowledge to train others, including Olympic champ Jackie Joyner Kersey. Because I did that for many, many years at a really high, high intensity on a hip that was already a little bit compromised, um, I sort of set myself up for what I'm, the problems I'm having now. Remember that ski accident when Ashley was a teenager? You know, basically my cartilage is worn down. I have multiple bone spurs. The bone shape has changed over time and I just, I have pain with pretty much all movement with my hip. So this top athlete embarked on an eight year online journey searching for the best solution. Is the different, you know, is it a front or anterior approach or a posterior approach? And also the best surgeon. After researching experts from New York to California, I ended up choosing Dr. Vale. I, I saw a couple reviews of, about him online. Dr. Thomas Parker Vale, chief of orthopedic surgery at UCSF Medical Center, is one of the nation's top orthopedic surgeons. He says online research is a good first step in making an informed decision. It's really through consultation with your physician that you can then overlay that with your particular situation. He went over various options with Ashley during her first visit. It's, it's a revolutionary operation to have your joint replaced, but it's not simple. I mean, it means being in the hospital, there's some risks involved. After that initial meeting with Dr. Vale, Ashley knew immediately. This is the surgery I'm supposed to do, this is the doctor I'm supposed to have it with, and I think I had a comfort level and a trust level that made me feel less fearful, and so then I was able to make that decision. The number of total hip replacement surgeries in the U.S. has tripled in the past 30 years, going from 117,000 in 1991 to 332,000 in 2012. Improved surgical techniques have made it safer with faster recovery time. Uh, because of the fact that we can do the operation in, with less physical stress, less blood loss, less pain. So the day before surgery, Ashley was ready to go. I just want to be able to move without pain. I want to be able to walk without pain. I want to make sure I'm not damaging other parts of my body that have started to compensate. The next morning, it was game time. First the pre-op, then off to the operating room. I think advances in how the procedure is done, the pain management associated with it, the uh, speed at which the operations are performed has really decreased the uh, this, the level of stress, let's say, that a person might experience going through it. And about a week later, Ashley went home to start rehab. Right away I started trying to walk a little bit more. I mean, the, their directions were just walk as much as I felt up to with my crutches, of course. And um, I started sitting on the stationary bike on, I think, day three. Beyond the technical aspects of the operation, the patient's general health, do they smoke, are they overweight, do they have heart disease? These factors make a big difference in terms of expectations and any risk of complications. Because she's healthy and in good shape, Ashley's risk factors are low. Well, I think her long-term prognosis is excellent. I think she'll do very well. She's proven in the early going that she will do very well. She continued to excel, returning to work about a month after surgery. Because I had crossed this hurdle and I've gotten back so to be back and know kind of have that peace of mind like I'm okay I'm okay this was successful I'm gonna be able to do what I love to do that soon after was just it was kind of like a big weight off my shoulders I guess and like a nice relief as Ashley's eight-year journey comes to an end she says everything unfolded as it should this sequence of events that was like oh it felt like the right timing I felt like I was at the right mental place in my life so I don't think I would do anything different. It's worked out, it's worked out well.